If you have formed an asset protection trust or you're thinking about setting up an asset protection trust, you might be wondering how your assets get into the trust to make sure they're in there and getting protection from that asset protection trust. Is it done automatically or do you have to take some action in order to get in there? That's what I want to discuss today. My name is Colin Lay. I'm an attorney at Lay Roots. Lay Roots is a law firm where we do a great job of asset protection. If you have any questions about setting up your own asset protection trust, you can visit livemorecarefree.com to set up a free initial chat. Again, that's livemorecarefree.com. Okay, so when we set up an asset protection trust, we often compare it to an empty box. So you've created this box and now you've got to get your things inside of that box. So I'm going to try something new here with the videos today and I can't resist this background. Here's our box. Here's our asset protection trust. Let's talk about how you get your things inside of this box here. Okay, let's try this. Got a little illustrator now. Um, all right, so here we are. Here's your box that represents your trust. Now let's keep things simple here. Just a few assets. We'll call this a brokerage account. Say you've got your house that you want to make sure is protected from any lawsuits or creditors. And then maybe you also have an LLC down here. Maybe there's a rental property or something like that inside that LLC. So how do they get from here over to here? It just depends on what the asset is. So they're one, not going to be in here automatically. I don't know if I made that clear, but you do have to um, do some footwork to get your assets inside of the trust. So looking at the brokerage account, how do we get from here, from your personal name over to your trust? Essentially, you're going to form a new account. Um, most anywhere where you have a brokerage account, they have individual accounts, you know, joint accounts, trust accounts, perhaps LLC accounts as well. So essentially, you would open an LLC investment account. And then you just transfer the assets um, from one end to the other. And that takes those assets from your personal name, your personal account into your trust account. So then those assets would be protected inside of the box. The house, again, you're going to need to create a deed that would transfer ownership from your personal name or however you own it into the name of your trust. So essentially you hire an attorney to create a deed, you sign the deed, the deed is recorded, that puts your house there inside of your trust and therefore protected from potential lawsuits. Same with the LLC, there's going to be legal paperwork that is going to transfer ownership. Maybe the member will change or the owner will change, however your LLC is set up, and you transfer that to ownership within the trust. So assets don't automatically get inside of your trust. You have to do some action, either opening new accounts or additional legal paperwork to transfer assets from your personal individual name and into the protection of your asset protection trust. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and we will see you next time.